A few years ago, I built this tiny house on the frame of an old RV that I bought for $400. I started the demolition of the RV by pulling off the main components like the air conditioning unit. Then I pulled out the drawers and cabinetry. The interior of this thing was made of a thin and kind of poor quality board that I didn't want to reuse for anything. I was going through some personal stuff at the time, so demolishing this RV was kind of a good release of some of that energy. There's something super satisfying about Sparta kicking the wall off your house. The aluminum siding peeled off in big chunks. I ended up cutting them into smaller pieces and melting them into ingots to use for future projects. I did the same with the copper wiring that I pulled out of the walls. You can see some of the casting projects I did with this metal in some of the other videos on my channel. As I was going to town with the sledgehammer, I made sure to keep an eye on the roof so it didn't collapse on my head while I was taking out the walls. With the walls and the roof off the trailer, the only thing left was the flooring, toilet, and black water tank. I wouldn't be using any of these components for the tiny house build, so I set them aside in a big scrap pile. With the flooring off the trailer, I was now able to see the frame I had to work with. I would need to sandblast some of the rust off and weld on some additional supports so it could handle the weight of my tiny house. I'll go through those steps in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content about the tiny house and my homesteading projects.